This video is sponsored by Blue Snow Media, making starting up online just that bit easier. Hi, my name is Darren, I'm editor of The World of Tech. Today I'm going to be putting a comparison video together of two of the hottest mobile operating systems on the market, iOS for Apple and Android for Google, and we're going to be comparing the browsers on a level playing field. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now for this comparison, we will be using an Apple iPhone 4 for the iOS device. Now the iPhone is running the current operating system which is 4.2.1. Defending Android in this battle is the HTC Wildfire, running Android 2.1 Eclair with HTC Sense. We will be kicking off this comparison with a detailed look at the user interface on the browsers, starting off with the iPhones and iOS. It don't take a genius to work out Apple's mobile Safari has a clean and simple user interface. Safari has many features such as adding and deleting multiple tabs. I personally think that mobile Safari has one of the nicest user interfaces on any smartphone on the market today. Other options in mobile Safari include adding bookmarks, adding pages to the home screen, emailing web pages and wireless printing. And now onto Android's browser. And just like the iOS browser, it's clean and tidy. There are no on-screen options, however by clicking the menu button on your Android device, you get a variety of options. The Android options include adding bookmarks, bookmarks, windows to display open web pages, and a more options button. The animation used to scroll through open websites and close open websites is virtually the same on both iOS and Android. The more options tab includes home, find on page, share page, downloads, settings and more. That's what I call a nice variety. Now onto the most used feature, the keyboards. The iOS keyboard is a very nice and well spaced out and easy to see keyboard. The iOS keyboard is also extremely accurate. The iOS keyboard will still be as accurate even if you have rather large hands. The mistake I make now is completely down to me keeping one eye on the camera while typing. Now to the keyboard found on the Android devices. You will notice the Google Android keyboard is a lot closer, making typing errors more common. Ok, I have to admit it, I really dislike the Android keyboard. I feel really uncomfortable and cramped while typing. It feels like I'm in a, well, just a tight space really. If your device has an accelerometer, you can turn it into landscape mode, but even then the keyboard isn't much better. If you experience problems with your eyes, the Android keyboard will add to the problems. The alphabet on the keyboard is black on white, which isn't a problem, however the numbers and symbols are a light grey on white and can be hard on the eye. All this makes for a terrible typing experience and this lets Android down. The biggest problem is the whole keyboard is forced into one keyboard. This may sound funny but look at the iOS keyboard, it's split into multiple keyboards for a better typing experience. Android should have taken a leaf out of Apple's book. Now for the Android fightback. Apple insists on what they say goes. Yes, both platforms allow HTML5, however only one allows Adobe Flash to run on their OS. However, on a positive note, both platforms run HTML5 pretty well with no lag. Now is the time for Android to flash. Android can run Adobe Flash perfectly and so can iOS. It's just a shame Apple don't allow it. Apple refused to use Flash and claim it slows down the device. But as I said before, what Apple says stands. Another plus for Android is their full screen browsing which helps concentrate while browsing. When viewing images in iOS, by pushing down on the screen allows you to save the image or copy the image. However, when viewing an image on Android, the options are as follows. Save image, view image, set as the wallpaper and share the image. Both iOS and Android come loaded with the ability to pinch to zoom 
during web browsing. Pretty new to iOS is cut, copy and paste and I have to say it works very well. Cut, copy and paste works equally as well on Android, however I would prefer it if the green markers were a little bit bigger. You have more options in Android for cut, copy and paste such as the ability to add your selection to a text message, an email or post it to Twitter. Overall, iOS provides an amazing web browsing experience with a clean and tidy user interface but the lack of flash may come at a price. Good job the keyboard and ability to run HTML5 make up for it. And to put Android into perspective, it also offers a great web browsing experience but is let down by the dreadful ergonomics on the keyboard, leaving only one clear winner. iOS takes number one spot for web browsing. This video is sponsored by Blue Snow Media, making starting up online just that bit easier.